Thanks for joining us here at uh, South by Southwest Interactive. You're watching Web 2.0 TV. We're at the Austin Convention Center. We're just apparently the fulcrum spot for Canadians to come on <laughs> and chat with us. I've got David Crow of Microsoft Canada Canada here, and um, we love Austin. It's apparently the, so. It's the one blue dot in a sea of red. <laughs> Nicely we, put. We feel at home down here. We'll take that. We'll definitely take that. We've talked to quite a few of you Microsoft guys, and we love you. We really do. <laughs> but so we're everywhere. You are everywhere because you're we're multiplying the in the hallways. I know. We're the board. Do. You will be assimilated. That's okay. That's okay. It's That's going to come back to haunt me, by the way. <laughs> it's okay. You're an evangelist. And we want to know what, what you're yelling about. While uh, you're listening, as you put it, yeah, uh, and dealing with and dealing arms. And dealing arms. Yeah, I, it's funny. I earlier I, I decided that I, that my job title should be uh, arms dealer instead of evangelist, and it's and it's because you know a large part of what we do is is you hear us on the pulpit a lot of the time talking about the stuff and why we're cool and what we do mm -hmm. and all of this stuff, but in reality what we're tr what we're really trying to do is get noticed so that you so that we can hear about what you're doing because. Mm -hmm. In, by listening and figuring out what, what people are doing and what their problems are, we get an opportunity to look into our war chest and say, what are the tools that will make you heroes? Mm -hmm. How do you go out to win the war? Mm -hmm. And we, there's, there's leading edge or early stage alpha geeks that come to conferences like eTech and South by Southwest who are, who are wonderful in this. There's the other guys who you know, wake up and they go in and it's a nine to five job in the bank. Mm -hmm. And we, we want all of those guys to, to understand that we can help make them heroes. Uh, nicely put, really. Now you said you listen a lot. What, do you feel like then so many things that Microsoft is doing is more, more reactive, meaning we, we, we wouldn't have known it if y'all hadn't talked so much about it? Yeah, I, I think it's a balance. We, we talk a lot about stuff, but we, when we innovate, when we do stuff that's new, we're doing stuff that is in a time frame that that is very different than other companies. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see this in other big, massive corporations. GE, Boeing, you don't build a plane overnight. Mm -hmm. You don't turn a ship like Microsoft overnight. We, we look at things about how people use technology, about how it affects their lives, and we're trying to build things that are about their, their entertainment, their consumption of media, their, their use of productivity tools, as well as we, we have a very nice, healthy developer business. We mm -hmm. make developers' lives better. I think I've heard that 10 times today. Have, have, are we all good? Should I just hold out like and be on message? Like the... No, no, and not from you. I'm saying from the people that are using Microsoft gear. Yeah. I mean, they're, it's, what's wonderful and, and it's something that's that almost like the conversation has switched and, and you, of course you're going to hear this or you have heard it, is that you know sometimes there's been a negative connotation, like this Microsoft got so big, hoity-toity, it's all that, yeah. they're all that in a bag of chips, and they're just taking over everything, and they don't really care about the little guy, they don't really yeah. care about the, the, the user, and, and it's almost as if, yeah, but how did we get started in the first place? It was all about making the world a better place with our product it's, and with our ideas. I, so this, it almost seems like there's a softer, yeah. softer serve. It's called out, the new Microsoft. And it's coming through the, so, the, the evangelists, the people well, that are going out there and saying, hey, well, it's the What's interesting up? things, right? You end up with Microsoft guys who carry iPhones. Mm -hmm. You end up with people who understand that the world is an ecosystem of products. And you know, where else would you hire an open source Mac guy like myself into a role where the title is evangelist, mm -hmm. right? So I, here I am, and when I joined, I, it's been more than 10 years since I'd run the Microsoft operating system. Mm -hmm. And I'm back, I buy it, I think it's. I think it's going to change the world. We're doing the right things, and we're doing the right things because we're not. We are reactive on a lot of fronts, but we're really sort of looking at it and saying, how how does technology touch your life? Mm -hmm. How do we help the people that make those technologies? Mm -hmm. And we're we're really good at doing a lot of things, and we're really bad at things. <laughs> and. Well, no, it, it's good that you can be able to. You're confessing it for all of Microsoft, but I know but I can't wait for our PR of, folks to get this. When you can actually say, "This is what we've screwed up on. This is what we we did. You know, we want to amend." But I, these are the things that totally make up for it. I, I have this ongoing negotiation with my bosses about how do we know if I'm doing a good job? Okay. 
And I said, uh, the argument I used this morning was, I said, all the stuff that we've, we've been doing is, 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 should be changed. How I know that I'm doing a great job is I get hugs at conferences. <laughs> it's, it really is. I've been on the road for two weeks. I was at Microsoft Mix in Vegas for the seven days prior to coming to South by Southwest. Came to South by Southwest, so I've been gone. I've been enjoying your lovely country. Thank your, you. Uh, and what a cross section! I know Vegas, Vegas and Austin. Austin. <laughs> it's like a party just waiting to explode. I think so. And I've had only once in two weeks have I had someone come up to me, and it was here at South by Southwest, say, "You know what?" Microsoft, what do you guys know about innovation? You suck. And my answer is, you know what? I probably haven't done anything for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I think we had them arrested, so don't worry about it. No, I don't. It's probably more likely they got arrested in Vegas. But, <laughs> uh, but it's one of those, honestly, because we so much want to tell our story because we're passionate about it, because mm -hmm. we think it's a great story, mm -hmm. and we forget. Mm -hmm. The people, when we do that, think of us as this big, evil which I don't know why there's ever a value judgment, but we're this big company. We are a big company, mm -hmm. but we're a big company doing great things. And the fact is, is that that one guy probably has got nothing out of me. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't, we were talking mm -hmm. briefly to start about yeah. economies of abundance and yeah. reputation. And I, I have this thing where I probably haven't put anything into the system that makes him respect me, right. that increases my reputation, that earns his trust. And my job as an evangelist is to go out and to, to be at events, to throw events, to write code, to help people understand that I've got the, I've got the arms that help them can win the war. That's going to come back really badly. Uh, but, <laughs> but there's this moment. People really want... I you as a Republican. I know. I'm, so, I'm such a commie pinko Canadian. It's lovely. <laughs> I love being... I, that's no, why that's we okay. love this city. That's okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's another really great press quote. But that one would end we'll up on the front page somewhere. Bite. Anything else brand spanking new crazy that we're going to see from Microsoft anytime soon? I think that uh, there's a change in the world happening. And I mm -hmm. think that the web is becoming the primary channel for where people get content. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole bunch of other channels that connect to the web. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea that uh, I may not need, I may want to interact with the web differently on my mobile phone or my Xbox. Uh, but the idea is, is that my mobile phone and my Xbox and my, my desktop and all of these other things aren't going away. Mm -hmm. So we need to help people build and understand how technology is going to change mm -hmm. their lives and give them the easiest tools to do it. I think you guys are going to do fine. Yeah. I really do. Maybe. Maybe, I think so. maybe if we just get that Yahoo thing, it will all turn around. Oh, for crying out loud. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you very you much for having me. To the U.S. anytime you want. You all aren't going to deport me. There's not INS we're agents. Not, we're not. Oh goodness. And, uh, and I would stay away from Vegas. <laughs> if you based your idea of the United States on Vegas. Do you, you like my, my my throaty Earth kit voice to go with the Vegas? Yeah, it's it's all good. From party. It's from the interactive parties. So. The South by Southwest interactive parties. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm Kimberly Dyker, and you're with Web 2.0.tv, and we've been having a blast at South by Southwest. Interactive, the place to be in Austin.